Generic greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. In the previous episode, we got our lagoon tank done and this deep con tank, which is a little bit too large, but it's not too bad. In this episode, I want to get another tank put in this corner here and probably then expand to another side. Oh, there's our guidebook shelf done. So let's go for a, a double filter. I think that would be useful. And immediately, I'm going to pause it and start moving things. So I want to move over the chocolate bar selling vendor, the vending machine, and we also want to shift over the uh, the drinks one as well and then we want to put in some guidebook uh, I was gonna say shops but they're not they are uh, just like just uh, dispensers and because of that we'll need to put in some book supplies so we'll put one there one there and one there let's actually rotate them around to a reasonable side there we go and sorted so those will get filled up those shelves excellent so we have a couple of things that we can uh, get so we got the shoulders exhibit so build a tank with different shoulders which we've currently got we got interest in some uh, bartlett antheus which are very nice looking fish but they require coral group a fully grown and a fully grown um cowfish a longhorn cowfish which we just don't have so that's a problem we also have another problem as well and this is what some uh, people did point out that this uh, coral grouper will eat fish um if it's size three or less now that wasn't the case because it's obviously grown up so what i'm gonna have to do is pretty much just um sell that fish sadly um, and we'll put something else in this lagoon tank. We'll find something else to go in there. Um, what else can we put in there? Let's have a quick look. Um, don't think those can go in. Can't go in them. That's a shame. It's a bully fish as well. And... Got that one. I got that one. I feel like that fish is a wimp. Uh, we could put an eel in there. I think. Uh, we'll grow to size 9. What would that grow to? Size 9. Actually, if, yeah, then an eel would be fine in there, I think. Let's just see what happens. I think the eel should be... I think the eel will be fine in there. So, um, we need to crack on and get this area done. So what I'm going to do is build a tank and it's going to be a deep wall tank and it's going to be as long as I can make it, which I think is pretty much going to be here and yes it is. We will pause it, we will shift this so we don't allow access to it and then speaking of access we do actually need access to this thing which I'm going to put in like so because now we have access to the top and we can do whatever we need in the tank. We can also um, put things around here and around here. So, speaking of things around there, I'm going to pick up this uh, combined filter because, quite frankly, it's uh, not used over on this side. So, that should be fine. And we need to figure out what we're going to put in there. Well, we do have the Shoulders ex Exhibit there. And if we got that, would we be able to complete it? So, let's just go through all the fish that we currently have unlocked and researched and see if we've got at least three different Shoulders. So, we have the Half and Half Chromis, which are Shoulders. We have the... The reef squirrel fish, which uh, don't like light, but they are shawler as well. And we have uh, not the opposite there. None of those. Neither of those. Um, no, that's not the case. Not there. Not there. It's not looking good. Not there. And not there. So actually, we don't even have the right fish unlocked. Do we have any fish in here that are shawlers as well? Um, we do not. We do not actually have the ability to, well, at the moment, to complete that exhibit. Hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that is a fairly big problem, actually. Okay, so let's focus on something else in this tank. Oh, we've actually got a, um, an observation request. I'm kind of you on behalf of Ocean Life Consortium. We have funding for one or two potential observation studies. First study looks at the behaviour of lionfish, while second looks at blue tubular sponge. Um, so the lionfish is required different lionfish, zero of two, sufficient water quality, sufficient heating, and observe it for two and a half hours. Or have tubular sponge and other stuff as well. Well, Quite frankly, we have that first one already done, I believe. The lionfish are in um, here. So if I select that, will it get it done? Yes, it is. Squig, we just got a boatload of money just for accepting it. And we're going to get some more once it's finished. 
Well, that was the easiest one we've ever done. Excellent. So the eels have grown, which is good. So what can we put in here? Well, we have... Or what don't we have, rather? We don't have the cowfish, and we don't have Atlantic Pollock either. But I think the cowfish is probably the way to go. Um, so let's start placing some of those. So they are size... We'll call them... Well, size 9. So that's 33. That's 44. Alright, so 44, fully grown, obviously. Uh, what else can they go with? The armoured, so they count as size 8 when compared to uh, whether a predator can eat it. They, don't, they might damage or eat starfish. Um, we could have a coral grouper, could we? It eats fish size 2 or less, but it grows to that'll be 9. Um, we could have one of those. That wouldn't be a problem, actually, because... Remember, those are, things are armoured. The Reef Squirrel Fish is a shawler, which might be quite good to get, but I don't know. Let's see what else we can have. Where's that uh, really annoyed red one? There it is. It's a bully. We'll pest uh, wimps. Cannot be housed with dotty bucks and grammars. Uh, Antheas, uh, and it needs a bit of rock. Uh, but it is size 3 though, so it will probably get eaten by that thing. Which is a bit of a shame. So we're still looking for anything that's size 4 more, essentially. Well, we can't put that in. Well, we can, but it wouldn't go too well. Um... Pollock is... Well, we can't put that in because it's too... Uh, it's, well, it's, it's cold water. And that's soft coral. Could we put soft coral in? That doesn't mind light. Fish and crustaceans. Starfish. We can. We can actually put some coral in there. Okay. Tubular sponge, maybe. Right, let's try that. So we need loads of... Well, we need lighting and all sorts. Let's go for that first. So lighting should be in here. So we'll say... Uh, how much light does that thing need? It needs a total of 10 lights. We need a power light. Which is... Ooh, expensive. Um, <laughs> right, okay. That's a thing. Uh, let's put a rock in there, which uh, fulfills all the needs for that. Um, we will focus on the heating and the water quality. So heating, we will say... I guess the heater will go in there. And the water quality, we will hopefully sort it by putting a large filter back in there, which uh, does seem to fill them needs. Okay, that's good. So... We'll close all those down. Hopefully that has been worked out correctly. We need to have some food closer to that one. We need red and we need the uh, cockles as well. So we want to have some mussel dispensers uh, there. And we need a cockle dispenser right next door to it there. And we also need uh, some plankton dispensers as well. So down to... Uh, that's sponge... Uh, zooplankton and there we go so that should be that finished so um if i put any more coral in will it will it be all right will it be all right that is now fine the water quality is 70 so that will change as these go bigger so we need to put in that size five doesn't grow their size Four, but actually, does it grow? Yes, it does grow. Size 9. So they're all... Essentially size 9. Oh, a couple more in then. There we go. Water quality not great, but we can easily resolve that by putting a protein skimmer in. We're going to put that one in because even though the small one would technically, at this point be all right it would work um it would only work for a short amount of time so we're not going to do that um i want to have a quick zoom in and that does look yeah that, that that rock does look terrible at that orientation so let's 
pick that up and then rotate it that away. That's much better. We want to have a rock covering in... I want it there, actually. So... There. And then I do like these. Ones here. And then some rocks. Or maybe... Maybe something else. Conch can go there. Or conch. Depending on how you pronounce it. And there we go. I think that's about right. Let's have a... Let's have a zoom in. Actually, no, let's hire some more people first. We need someone that's good at feeding. And there's our objective completed above the observations. So that's very good. Feeding two and fixing two. And then there's feeding two. So there we go. Zoom in. We can see that is a decent looking tank. Right? That seems to be fine. That's, e that's excellent. Very happy with that one. Okay, so that con is now completed. What is also complete is our research, or will be completed in but a moment. We then need to go for... Why is there loads of muck all over on the floor? We need to... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's... I think we need to sort that out. There's our double filter. We'll go for a different tank here. Um, so I won't be able to get, th get that yet. Shoulders are a bit done. All that's done. Uh, no autopsy report, so that's always a good thing as well. Uh, right, so we want to get some more bins put in, because quite frankly, people are just flinging rubbish everywhere, and it's starting to become a bit annoying. So we'll put a bin there and a bin in there, and that should hopefully uh, fix that. And we've got some in there as well. And for the time being, we can put some in there and in there. And what I'll do is place some, some benches because people might be getting a little bit tired. And uh, we're not using benches, actually. We'll go for... Oh, I guess we're going to have to use benches. Um, I wasn't going to use benches. But looks like I have to, because... We don't have the really fancy chairs, the padded bench yet. But at least, hopefully, that'll... Uh, should hopefully resolve something. Right, so... We have these two areas here, which are now all... Hell's bells. Now what happened there? Zoom in. And yes, those are now done. And it looks all right. That's good. Right, so we're going to expand to uh, this side now. And it's going to be similar to, to this. Actually, do we want to expand to that side? Or do we want to... Do you want to go further up? I think we'll expand this side just because... It's roughly what we've done previously, but we're going to have it purposefully different to, to that side. Mainly because I can't be bothered to work out exactly what the sizing is. <laughs> I'm being totally honest with you, I really can't be bothered to do all that. Um, it's going to cost two grand to do that. Um, it's quite a bit of uh, area to unlock, so I'm just going to unlock that for now. We will uh, place some walls there to block it off. And indeed, to make sure that the toilet's blocked off there as well. So, there's that put in. We need to think about what sort of tanks we're going to have. So, what sort of tanks do we have? What can be a bit different? Well, let's just speed up to max speed for the time being. Um, we've got a Belfast tank, which is absolutely huge. We could place a Belfast tank in here. Um, I don't know if here would be the perfect place for it. I'm thinking rather, probably around here would be a little bit better. Um, there's some fish that have grown up, which is good. Just double check to make sure all the needs are still fulfilled, which they are. So, we need... What sort of tank over there? Corner tanks? We could do that. Wall tanks? No. Observer tanks I quite like, but there's no real reason to have an observer tank at this around this, around this area. What I'm thinking is we have a, an area which has... Two or three smaller tanks. Um, there's some more fish that have grown, which is good. Yeah, so an area which has a lot, a lot of smaller tanks. So, wall tank, wall tank, wall tank, wall tank. That could work. That could work. Um, let's see about that one. So, do you want deep wall tanks? Deep wall tanks are probably the better way of doing it. Similar to that, but we're not going to have it as, as, as large. So, we'd have, say... Um, we have it starting 
Actually, no. Corner tank there. Wall tank, wall tank. Wall tank. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Right, so we want a corner tank. Ah, that's not a deep one. We want a deep corner tank, which will go... To there. Like so. We have a deep wall tank, which is three. Unlock that. But then we have another deep wall tank. Along to there. And deep wall tank along to there. So it's a gap of three all the way around, but we've got this... We've got this, like, basically a whole area where you just walk around and it's loads of tanks. That's exactly what I was looking for. There's another tank. Um, we'll go for a large chiller. I know that's cost a bit of money, but it's uh, going to be worth it, hopefully, in the long run. There's that now unlocked. We will also have to buy some more land around here as well. Just so we can fit the things in there. There's the unicorn sturgeon fish. We'll be using that in a moment. Um, and starfish. Do we want starfish? It says starfish. Place tanks. Uh, yeah, don't, don't place in tanks with starfish. It is cold water. So that might be useful for our cold water tank that we will be building. So let's do that. Mm, now feeding is your skill. And there's all that bought out. Right, so, um, this one will be a bit dodgy. So, let's think about, well, for a start, that. That one can connect to that. So let's let's work on this one. I'm going to put a platform there. And there's those done. In fact, I'll do, I'll do that on all, all the sides here. So there, 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 and there. Interesting design. Don't know how it's going to fare, but let's try. So the thing we've just unlocked is this unicorn sturgeon fish. It grows up to size 18. It's huge. Um, so let's put some of those in. So what size is this tank? 84. So one, two, three, four for safekeeping. So it does require a bit more heat. Actually, some heat, because it currently hasn't got any heat. Surely with that. No, it won't. It won't have any heat at all. So, let's resolve that by putting a large heater in there. And that should hopefully do it. I'm just going to pick that up and shift it to uh, there. So we have access all the way around and connect it up to those two tanks, obviously. And we'll expand. And this requires fixing, so that's why that filter is slightly wrong. So, in here, we need food, green pellets. We also need some... Uh, we need some foliage as well. Alright, let's sort the food out first. That's more concerning. So, there's that done. So, kelp, other stuff. What sort of design do we want to go for? I'm thinking, like... Do you want fishing nets in here? They seem to be that sort of thing. Let's go fishing nets, fishing nets. Um, quite a bit of kelp. And like an anchor in the bottom would probably look quite nice. And then let's open this area up. Yeah. Yeah, that works, actually. Surprise. A little bit sparse. We'll let's put something in there. Let's put something, uh, like a... I don't think we fit any of this in. Put something like sea cabbage or something. Or sea lettuce, rather. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. Hmm. 
That's a very snooty looking fish. <laughs> it looks like it's going to ask to speak to the manager any second now. Hmm. Right, so there is that tank done. And I thought that person was running there. It's just because of the speed we've got it on. So that's good. Let's work on a cold water tank. Or fresh... Is it fresh water? No, we've got a large chiller now, which is good. No more research to do, sadly. But, uh, yeah, we're going to work on a tank that is not tropical. And we've just got that starfish, which is good as well. So nothing in rank... <sighs> nothing in rank... Um, five anymore. So we'll go for rank six. And hopefully, by the time we've got the rest of this tank done... That'll be done as well, because then we've got uh, a couple of cold water species. So we've got the Atlantic Pollock. And it made fish with size 3 or less, but it won't eat starfish, which is good. And it's size 16 after a couple of days. So the biggest tank we have really is this one at 84. Um, so how about we have a total of... Uh, four of those. So what's that? 32, 64. Right, there we go. And the starfish, which, oh, growth size 14. Wow, okay. Um, so a starfish then. <laughs> um, I'm going to put another starfish in and get rid of a, one of those. That should be better. So we do need to filter this and do everything else, so let's do that. Um, the question is, do I want to put in a filter? And the answer is... Uh, or a pump, rather. And the answer is yes, I think I sort of do, because then we can uh, do two of these tanks with it, probably. Let's just expand that way as well. So we want to have, say, these two cold water. Actually, do we want to do that? Yeah, probably, probably. So we'll use a pump. We'll use a... Um, a power pump which will go in here for now it probably will be shifted uh, there and we'll connect up that and the question is can it connect up to the other tank it cannot sadly it's not it's just too far away and I can't connect up there because it's what it's going to be doing so we'll have to move it down to here which is far from ideal but we'll do what we can um, if nothing else actually what we can do is we can do that and then do that and then we can just delete these bits here, because we don't need it, because we've got access there and there, so that should be fine. Alright, so we need a large filter, like we do on most of these, which is now in. And we need a chiller, I believe. So we'll go for a large chiller, which will go there. And that is nowhere near chilled enough. So let's chill out even more, which is now chilled out. It will require more, I'm sure, but either way. There's that put in. So we need some sand eels for these. Uh, did the both... That this, what does this eat? It, um... It does not eat anything. Scavenger. Yeah, that's why. It's a scavenger. So I'll just pick up what's left. So we'll just have some sand eels then. So we'll just put a sand eel dispenser there. Then that is that one in. So what? how do you want to design this one? Now, with it being cold water and the colour of the fish, I think they're, uh... Probably, probably going to be for like rubble and rocks, but I'm aware that we've got a lot of that around the place. So, do I want to do that? Um, let's have some rocks in there. Or this column there. We'll make it very rocky, like that. Um, we'll put a. I don't think a treasure chest or anything like that would work. Driftwood, maybe? In that corner. And then I always find that... Eel grass is not too bad. And a barrel, I think, in the corner, perhaps? Um... That's not too bad. I think the distribution of where things are is a bit off. What I could do is probably move that for now. Just put it in another tank. It doesn't really matter. Um, pick up that other one. Move it forward to there. Pick up that and put it back. Is that going to look any better? Yeah, it's distributed a bit better. I mean, there's, a, there's symmetry here, which is bad. But 
Is there any way to avoid that? There is, but I think that's okay for now. I'm not going to stress about it too much, quite honestly. So, um, we've got that one done. This one, do we have Longhorn Cowfish? We should do. So let's see if I can get this one complete. So pick that up. There we go. And a coral grouper. We did have one, didn't we? Or did I? Oh, it was in here and I got rid. That's right. Um, so we'll probably go for that one in a second. There's the uh, Barlon Rass. Which is good. Well, I'll pick the next one. We'll go for... It's going to be a shark. It has to be a shark. Surely. Surely. Um, the question is, will we be able to fit it in this tank? I think we might. Uh, this is a skill we'll go for fixing. Because we have been uh, overlooking that. Let's put that fish in. So it is... Uh, yeah, we do need one of those. And I'll probably place it in this tank here. Even just to cultivate it. Um, I think we're overdoing this tank somewhat. Cleaning, talking, gift shop. It's talking. No, I'll go for cleaning. Right. So what size are we going to be on eventually? Oh, we might be alright. Hmm... We'll have to see. We'll keep an eye on that one. So, the... There's requiring a mop and bucket. Yeah, well, that's what we've got mop and bucket there for. There's a lot of dirt everywhere, and I think we need to sort that right out. Someone's good at cleaning, please. There isn't anybody good at cleaning. Uh, Isla's got a good... A little bit of cleaning, anyway. I just realised we've got so many people here. We just need... Do you want us to just hire everybody else? Um... You can go for, um, gift shop. I'm just hiring everybody in the list. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff in they're all grown. Yeah, that's fine. So the starfish is grown, the sturgeonfish is grown, everything else, that's fine. So let's just, um, why is that a problem? Oh, it's because it's some damage. Once it's fixed, is it okay, though? No, it's not. It's off a little bit. So we need another, probably a skimmer. Yeah, that's fine. That's all right. So this tank here, this is just going to be for our annoying fish, <laughs> Carl Gruber. So it's it, it can only be with itself. I'm oh, not to say we got one. We do have one. So where the hell have I put it? There it is. It's in there. There it is. Right. So you're getting picked up. And I'm going to sell you to that one. And this is all the fish we've got. Cool. And it's a Shola size 7. Ah, we can make our Shola tank now. Excellent. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that's that put in. I will... Now endeavour to keep them alive, and that'll be next episode. So, we'll go ahead. We will, uh, oh, they're very nice looking fish, aren't they? Very colourful. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll put some stuff in there, and that'll be that fish sorted. Uh, we should probably also, to be fair, um, put another one of those in uh, that tank there, because they were, you know, at home, and there seems to be working. So, in terms of our aquarium here, we are getting on with that. It's not too bad at all. We've got um, nearly 600 points uh, prestige, so that's all right. That's all right. Um, we need to get 1,400 to go to the different one, uh, different uh, different area. But in terms of different animals, uh, 17 out of 21. So we're doing all right. Next episode, we will fill these two tanks, and then we'll think about maybe expanding down to this side, which will require blocking this off and just you know making go on further down. But we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.